Welcome on in, everyone. Hope you're all doing good. We got us Sano 2 on deck. You may know us from the game already. We had to work with this a lot, so I want to give an early shout out. Thank you to the tech team, uh, especially working in this. This game is a pain. Uh, anyway, before I begin, what we're going to be doing is we'll be loading a file because otherwise this straight up won't work. Uh, but so, I guess this is pretty much our main menu. You can see we have Hard Hard. Uh, before we begin, I am McDysis. I do a lot of horror games and I run a bunch. I recently did like 160 something in a row over the course of a month. That was wild. Uh, also with me is... J-Rock, J-Rock the God. Uh, we're a speedrunner here myself, uh, mostly the Resident Evil series. I'm here just for emotional support and, you know, a few anecdotes. That being said, you ready to go? Absolutely. All right, three, two, one, let's go. All right, so we got Sonal 2. It's going to be fun. Hey, look, we're back in the bathroom. We're just here. Uh, we don't normally do this, but we have the UFO ending requirement, so we'll be grabbing that just so we can make it as long as we go. Um, Sonal 2 is a classic game. We all know and love it. We're going to skip immediately here. We're going to take this text. We're going to use it to uh, avoid doing the game. There's a map in that car. There's a wife in that car. We're ignoring both of them. Uh, we're just going to go down here. Normally, there's a wall that tells you, hey, you can't do that. Uh, we're doing that. Uh, anyway, we're going to run to the city. So, yeah. Uh, j -Rock, what do you think about uh, horror games? About all horror games or just this one in particular? Both. Oh, it's very foggy. You know, my memory is just a little, like, kind of like the <laughs> game right here, you know? Um, I love the atmosphere of the old school stuff, though. This right here, this is, this is my vibe. Well, it, it is a vibe. You're just running through the wilderness for about uh, five minutes or so here. So let's talk about what exactly has changed, because weirdly enough, uh, the first time I ever ran at a GDQ was actually five years ago at an event called GDQX in 2018. And I actually ran Sonal 2 on Normal Normal. So I don't know, this feels kind of nice going back after five years doing Hard Hard. Uh, but kind of going into that, I bring it up because uh, five years ago, the run was very different than it is now. First off, we're on a hard difficulty, so boss fights can be harder. We have different puzzle requirements. There's going to be a lot more in the game we're going to have to worry about. Also, we have a neat skip right here that was found. Um, the idea behind it is really dumb. You skip a load. I didn't get it. Uh, it just slow loads. You can get a fast load. It saves a very minor amount of time. doesn't really matter if you get it, but this game runs on IGT, which I guess is a good showcase of that. Uh, going along with this, we are in a new game file, so we're going to be avoiding any uh, new game plus stuff that isn't towards our bid war, which, by the way, just for our host, uh, the bid war will be ending at the, let's say, end of the run. Uh, we have to do, like, a stuff in between for both of them, but we'll just be doing both of them, and then we'll just go with the ending we actually get. Um, all right, continuing along with that, what has changed is we have something called RNG manipulation, and this actually is my apology to the tech team as well, because I had to boot up the game in a very, very particular way. Um, whenever you start the game, if you start on a uh, certain frame, what's going to happen is you have now decided every single puzzle in the game. Uh, it is decided right there. And uh, me and J-Rock both have our notes. I took a picture on my phone. Uh, it's literally phone to camera or computer, I guess. And uh, we're going to be able to tell you literally everything that comes up the moment we hit the clock. Uh, it's going to be a fun magic trick. Yeah, uh, we'll call it magic. Uh, it is. Uh, it actually terrified me. Uh, this was discovered uh, by a runner named Sonal Tuluk, who was going into Sonal 2 streams and telling people codes that they shouldn't know. I mean, like, a four-digit RNG code. Uh, anyway, this fence is really nice. We're going to look at it. And there's no reason to go back. We're going to look for Mary. Remember earlier I said we were ignoring the wife in the car? If only we had looked a little more thorough. Well, there's no reason to go back. I'm going to look for Mary. So, uh, talking uh, mo more about that tech glitch, um, this is a trick unique to the PC port. You may be noticing we're playing on PC. Uh, there are a lot of differences between that and the console version. So with PC, what's going to be happening is I'm going to be able to use the game save function. It's game saved. I still have that poster in my room, by the way, funny enough. Um, but going along with that, this is going to put the game in like a so-called stasis, so nothing's going to be uh, summoning, uh, functioning, spawning, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this includes enemies, um, map like elements that are minor, like cars, uh, and more importantly, this will include uh, game triggers. So what's going to happen is normally, if you know Sonal 2, there's going to be some blood on the ground, he's going to look at it, and he's going to be like, hey, I want to go check this out. We're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to run past it, because there's no reason to go back. I'm going to look for Mary. Uh, now, the caveat of that is that I need to hold this text the whole time. You may have noticed, I have quite literally been mashing the game save uh, button. So we're going to end up with like, something like 2,000 or more saves they end at. There's a blood, we're running right past it. However, I do need to hold this for a good while, because if I don't, I might, ha like, James like, wait, that blood, it's, it's really cool, we got to go back. But obviously, we don't want to do that. Uh, also, you get to see a fun trick here, where we're going to be uh, spawning in a car on, like, the left side. Uh, you'll see, like a, like, a black shadow on the ground. And, uh, oh, hey, look, there's a car. <laughs> so 
So the game is back in action, uh, items have spawned back in, and we're almost done with the first minor hub. Like now we're kind of like, you know, in the city, we're looking around, you're meant to get the keys to the apartment, and you're meant to get a weapon to defend yourself. You may also notice, I don't have a weapon. Uh, normally, uh, the tutorial kind of gives you a wooden plank, which is a very bad weapon. I know this because I have beaten a uh, hard mode with only the plank, and it requires something like uh, 300 hits on the final pyramid head fight, which is a pain. That's a lot of mental fortitude to get through that. Yeah, I know. It took me a lot of tries, and I was like bonking a guy in the skull, like just, and just make these like thunk noises, which is just, <laughs> it's fun, huh? Um, but going into it, uh, so J Rock, you do Resident Evil stuff. You know how fluid the movement is in those games, right? Oh, yeah. And they, they control well. Uh, you do a lot of Silent Hill? Uh, a little bit. It's a little more like the, uh, the pants are a little more starchy when he tries to run. Yeah, so every Silent Hill game has quirks. In Silent Hill 1, uh, Harry just moves like a tank. And Silent Hill 2 is a bit more refined. Um, the game save button actually is regenerating his stamina because he runs out. However, hard mode is funny because, uh, in fact, you like Super Smash Bros. Brawl, uh, they added back tripping. Huh. You can trip in Silent Hill 1, and it's by default everywhere, and in Silent Hill 2, uh, only on hard mode you can trip. So, um, as a runner of hard mode and someone who has uh, pioneered this category as much as I have, um, I actually found a trick to avoid that. Game saved. Apparently that also overwrites hard mode. Uh, previously, runners wouldn't want to game save indoors because it doesn't have as much of an effect because stamina it regenerates per room, but if you keep saving inside, you're never going to trip on a wall. I'll probably do it at one point just to show off that I'm like, oh, he's, he's lying, there's no tripping. No, you'll see it. Uh, anyway, we're going to get the flashlight, because I need to be able to see things. You can't grab things in the dark. Um, also, I'll come in handy. You may also notice there's a lot more enemies than usual. This is the hard mode strat uh, style, I suppose. Uh, so I want to make sure I'm running the light off around them, or else I'm be very aggressive. Uh, just to show that we do actually have tripping, we're going to run here, and you'll see James just... Well, maybe? Maybe? It will he? No, he's actually not going fast enough. Defiant. Well, I'll show it later then, I guess. <laughs> maybe I am lying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I said defiant, not you're lying. <laughs> oh, I suppose, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, we're going to be grabbing a gun. It's just going to be up here in this uh, shopping cart. Free gun. Uh, but funny enough, there is an order you can do here. There's a key on the ground, and then there's the gun in the shopping cart. If you grab the gun second uh, and try grabbing the key first, uh, there'll be enemies in this hallway when you come back, which is bad. Uh, also, I'm actually going to uh, equip a weapon, uh, make sure I, that's equipped, because if I don't, that's not going to be good, and I can soft lock the game. And we don't want that. Okay, so here's a man skip, scream skip, a... What do you call this? Just some kind of, like, a guttural yell? The scream skip works. The scream skip. It, you just skip it by saving. Uh, and then you reload back in the game. Hey, look, there's Pyramid Head. All right, so now we're going to be grabbing this key, and we're going to be able to take that to get another key, which is going to solve the clock puzzle for us. And then we're going to get a lot of enemies spawning. Uh, I feel like I've talked a lot. Normally, I do uh, more donations in the intro because it's a long run, but we had a lot to talk about. So, uh, Bobby, how about we get uh, one donation? All right, we have a $25 donation from RC Gamer 0826 hey, hey. that says, Greetings from the crowd. Where are you at? There, there, there they are. Uh, had to support the great legendary speedrunner Ictisis during his run. I, I'm so glad I was able to see it live from the crowd. Dog ending is the best ending, of course. Dog ending is in the lead right now. I agree. All right. So yeah, uh, in that room we got the clock key and we got the uh, I got a health drink. I'm grabbing a lot of health drinks because we're going to need this in GDQ safety, right? So J Rock, do you think we're gonna get a good clock or a bad clock? Anywhere from like one to twelve, like and no AMs or PM, just one to twelve. Ooh. I think I get like seven. I feel good. Feel good about this. Feel lucky. Uh, I'm gonna say seven. We have a five. That's like four forty-nine. Okay, that's bad. Um, the answer is always the same. It's about like, uh, let's see, it's like right about here. There you go. Okay, what time was that? Uh, we had about 4.49, I think. That was 4.49, right? I hope it was. Uh, maybe 4.48? Oh, yeah, 4.48. Okay, so you see a 4.48 on there? <laughs> yes, I do have 4.48 awesome. already. I was uh, getting a little nervous. What is the uh, number next to that, like the first number, the seed? Uh, 33.19? Uh, no, no, the, the seed. Like, what frame oh, are we on? 22, sorry. We got 22? Okay. Yes. All right, so right now we're doing our magic trick. Uh, this game runs on IGT, like we talked about. So here's a cutscene. Uh, we're going to enjoy that for one moment. Uh, I took a picture on my phone. Why? Because uh, I don't know how to write things down properly. So um, what's going to happen here is since we are on, you said 22? Yes, 22. All right, the answers in the game, uh, as long as we got this right, should be 7833 for the blood puzzle, 7817 for the carbon puzzle. Uh, it's going to be side down when we go to the face puzzle. 
be the fourth arsonist, and the word will be time at the very end of the game. That's gonna be a fun magic trick that will pay off in the rest of the run. So, uh, I rattled off a bunch of random numbers. Uh, what that means is, like I said, in Sonal 2, the game begins, I guess, at the very beginning, in a way. So every single puzzle is decided right when you begin the game. Uh, as a result of that, if our calculations are correct, I will now know every single puzzle, and I don't have to actually go to them to find out. Uh, this will require a lot of things, like, oh, you have to find a piece of paper in a room, and then you have to memorize that number. You'll have to find, um, you know, uh, numbers and blood on a wall. Um, you'll have to, like, do a puzzle to find out the, the arsonist. Uh, I guess in hard mode, it's actually the counterfeit. Dude, he is not tripping. <laughs> I saw this show from once, and I'm actually kind of surprised. Let's see, what do we do here? He knows. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see, see. Hey. It actually is bad a trip, but, you know, it shows off that we are on hard mode and it does happen. Anyway, we get canned juice. That's going to be a fun puzzle that's going to be coming up. It's the old school horror logic of, hey, here's a random item. What are you going to do with it? Examine it? We, we might. I, I mean, we're not going to, but we could. <laughs> what kind of juice do you think it is? Is this a trick question? No, it's a, it's a question. I don't know what it is. I'm thinking it's like, I don't Apple? Know. Like yeah, apple? Yeah, if it, yeah. It could be apple. Usually apple. Right? What if it's, it's either like apple or orange? Those are usually like the uh, the go-to juices, right? It could be. I feel like guava or something. Uh, let's see. Also a little bit weird, but it's, I guess it's like red. It could be cherry. I don't know. I'm I've seen apple in red boxes. All right. Well, anyway, now we have that. We can now do the coin puzzle. So I've really talked about how you get out of the apartments, what you're meant to do. But you're meant to get like three coins, and that's going to solve the ultimate puzzle. Let's you get out of here. Uh, we're going to be able to do a neat little trick here. So what's going to happen is uh, I'm going to use the game save during this, and I'm going to start like shadow walking or load walking, so I can actually get a little bit closer to the door during that time. I'm moving while the text is there, which is pretty convenient. Uh, now, as well, we're going to get the rest of these coins. Uh, one of them will be down here, uh, and then another one will be coming up as well. Uh, also, these guys are very aggressive. I must always take one hit because they are just... There's three of them, and they immediately want to attack you. That's kind of why we need so many health kits. We're also going to meet uh, Eddie in a moment. Oh, you're saying? I'll say it makes sense. It does make sense, right? But, yeah, it's kind of wild knowing that you can just solve every puzzle right in the beginning of the game if you just know what frame you're on. Which, it's kind of barbaric, I guess, in a way, because I'm literally finding out the frame by just, um... There we go. Oh, hey, look, there's Eddie. That's pretty new tech across, like, speedruns in general, if I'm not mistaken, right? If I'm not mistaken, not too long ago, they figured that out with, like, uh, is it Final Fantasy X? Was it? Yeah, I believe so. Neat. Yeah. What are they, what are they doing that? Uh, you count the frames at the beginning, and it determines what your RNG could be for the, uh, the run. Neat. Oh, yeah, so going back to the other thing I was talking about, when this was found, uh, uh, yeah, the runner Sonal 2 luck, he was going into people's streams and literally telling the answer. I know this because he came into my stream when this happened. I was playing Sonal 2, I was grinding it out, and he told me two, like, four-digit numbers that there's... You can't randomly guess a four-digit code, and there's no way of finding out without reading the paper. And it was kind of a terrifying, actually. It's pretty good. I mean, I guess, you know what? They put the horror in the horror game. It's like a third-party arc, right? It would have been better if he had told no one, and he just went around forever with the secret. He actually went to a few streams, apparently. <laughs> so we gotta have a little bit of fun with that. Alrighty, we're actually approaching the first boss in a moment. We're just gonna be uh, grabbing a knife and coin in this room. There we go, and I'll be grabbing ammo. We need a lot of ammo, by the way. Uh, normally, you would only need a few bullets, because you can get Pyramid Head quite fast. Also, hold on, not that way, sorry. You can pyramid head quite fast, however... Wait, what's that? Hard mode. Hard mode. There we go. I have no idea why I did that. And, okay, here we go. Uh, the puzzle is going to be gold five, silver two, snake four. Uh, this is actually just a regular puzzle, by the way. Let's have the regular puzzles. Uh, but there's a fun trick you can do here. If you pause, you can actually just cancel the minor fade out. Uh, a little bit convenient. Also, this game's gonna get a little bit weird because I have an extra coin in there, which is a little bit surprising, the, the UFO token. Uh, when we get the endings, you kind of have to do certain things, so we're gonna be adding that on, which should be okay. All right, we got the room key, and let's play it real safe and grab a med kit just because I don't want, you know, hubris. All right, so J-Rock, the first boss, uh, you ever, uh, if you play Sonic 2, you know about Pyramid Head, right? Yes, the guy with the big pyramid on his head. Yeah, and you, you know the boss fight? Yes. Would you say it's easy or hard? 
Um, for me? In general, I suppose. In general, I think it's pretty difficult for first-timers, right? I'd say so, yeah. Um, the game's actually so difficult at this point because they don't give you any weapons. You have, uh, I guess, the pistol bullets that you find here, nothing major yet. And also, you only have, like, the plank of wood for a melee weapon. Um, the game actually gives you a way out by quite literally letting you wait out the fight. So here's Pyramid Head. What we're going to do is we're going to walk into him. And you count with me, okay? We're not counting every bullet, we're counting our reloads. So here's one. Um, all right, we're on two right now. So, uh, this works because he's trying to walk into me and get into attack position. I'm pushing him back. He's never gonna be able to attack me, too. So I'm, I'm gonna... I'm reloads and have bullets, by the way. Yeah, reloads. Right now we're at two, uh, two reloads. Oh, we're not gonna count bullets. Can you imagine counting every bullet? Yeah, I lost count at four. <laughs> three. All right, now we're at three reloads. All right, let's see. We're also gonna be looking out for a horn sound. All right, that's four. I should be five more shots. One, two, three, four, five. And he's dead. Yeah, so you just walk into the guy the whole time, keep your distance, because if you don't keep your distance, he will actually one-shot you. That is, uh, any difficulty, he can one-shot you. Now you can just hard mode. But it's wild that on hard mode, you can just run into him the whole time. It's like, oh, well, I guess, I guess that's a problem, isn't it? Uh, anyway, the numbers we're going to be needing looks like they're going to be the 7833 and the 7817. Uh, those are going to come in handy once we get to the hospital. That'll be our next major hub, but we beat the apartments pretty quickly, I'd say. Yes, not to add any kind of drama to this, but... We also have a 446, so we sure it was a 448, right? Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> There's a 446 and a 448, so we're sure it was a 448, right? Yes, I, I, four, four, I was 448. Okay, I, yeah. <laughs> I, I hope it was 448. I have them both here ready just in case. Which frame was 448? Uh, 446. 36. Okay, no, it's, it's 448. It okay. has to be. Unless I did really bad in the setup. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna meet like the rest of the characters of the game. There's like a lot of cutscenes. Like, oh hey, you, you can meet like the five other people in this game, which is yeah, you have Laura, you have Maria, uh, you can make friends with all of them. You have Eddie. Uh, there's a lot of fun stuff with this. Also, here's the magic trick. Uh, Honestly, stay... that's a lot of survivors for a survivor uh, uh, game. Say, say bye to James. He's gone. Bye James. Yeah, bye James. He just, he just. Oh, but he's really gone. Oh, he took. He took, took the sign with he him. Took the sign. <laughs> you can't have anything in Silent Hill, man. <laughs> Oh yeah, just Rhea. And uh, right now, we're just gonna be running over to the bowling alley. So how about we get uh, two donations? Also, I'll be grabbing the dog key, so we'll grab it right now. All right, well, we have a $25 donation from Mercury5Go that says there was a donation here. It's gone now. And we have a $10 donation from Rebecca Hope that says to continue, press any key. Wait, I, I don't see in any key. How about, uh, how about two more? <laughs> All right, well, we have a $25 donation from Cece that says, good luck on the run, Eck, and don't give hey. Eddie too hard a time. He's just trying to enjoy his pizza. And we have a $25 donation from Shadow Mage that says, as James Sutherland, Sunderland once said, this town's full of monsters. How can you just sit there and eat pizza? Good luck on the Silent Hill 2 run. Thank you. All right, so I guess a base mechanic we could talk about. Uh, we're not going to be running in the overworld too much in daytime. We're doing a little bit right now. Uh, we do have Maria following us, and it's kind of an escort mission, but she's actually really good at being, like, an escort mission. Um, she does take damage. Also, I'm grabbing a pipe there, and I'll talk a bit more about that in a moment. Uh, but she does take damage, but the thing is, she'll follow you into any room, uh, unless she's not meant to. But that, that doesn't matter, because she's not in danger then. Yep. Uh, so we're going to go in the bowling alley. There we go. Uh, we do get the pizza cutscene, but... You can just admire the pizza from afar. Unfortunately, I don't a think we have a frame of pizza. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we have time to watch it because we took a long time to set up and I kind of want to help catch up how we can. <laughs> and look, pizza, it's gone. There's a pizza here. It's so we had now. two frames of pizza. Yeah, two, two old frames of pizza. Mm -hmm. Normally I'd play that, but just want to make sure you're gonna be good. And look, Maria's back. So now the goal is to catch Laura. This is gonna take us to the hospital. It's actually pretty quick and there's like no enemies nearby. Uh, we will be grabbing uh, an item or two, though. Uh, we're going to a health kit, and I talked earlier about I grabbed the pipe. So, the metal pipe is almost never going to actually be used. The whole idea behind it is we never got a melee weapon, and later in the game, there is a requirement for you to have a melee weapon. So, if I get in that room, I am just trapped, which that would be bad. <laughs> Yeah, normally you wouldn't be in that situation, but you kind of, like, skip the opening cutscene when you get a, a guaranteed melee weapon. Exactly. Like, we just ran past it, we don't have the plank of wood. I mean, ideally you wouldn't want to use that anyway, because the pipe's pretty good for that, but, yeah. Uh, I'm also grabbing a med kit there. We get a beautiful song for, like, one room. S single room song, but it it's gone now. <laughs> and uh, we're making our way to the hospital, so how about uh, one donation before we enter? All right, we do have a, uh, we have a $66.66. .66. 
a donation from Casual Speedrun says this town is full of monsters. How can you just sit there and eat pizza? First GDQ event in person has been a blast. Where are you at? Where are you at? There you are. Cheers. I want to look back, but then I get left. I get yeah. dozed off. Uh, I'm looking back for the both of us. Don't yeah. worry about it. Good. Thank you, J-Rock. <laughs> that's, that's why you're there. Good, good luck, Ignisus, and have fun, everyone. Cheers. All right, so now we are in the hospital. The major thing here that we're doing is there is a box called the four lock box. Two of them are keys, two of them are codes. Those are the codes that I talked about earlier. Uh, as well, we have to do a few extra things here. Uh, first things first, uh, I found a little manip, which James can do an adorable loop-de-loop. -loop. It's like, yeah, see, just twirls. Um, it gives you just further in that area from the nurse, or she won't hit you sometimes, she did, but she's mean. Uh, as well, we're we'll going to be getting a needle and a shotgun. Uh, the shotgun's going to be our bread and butter weapon for a lot of fights, uh, at least for a while. Uh, normally, there's going to be a room on the right. You'd have to enter that to find the carbon code. Uh, we're not going to do that. It requires reading, and I don't want to read. It's felt that. running. It's not speed reading. It's speed running. Get out of the way. All right, so now we're done with the second floor. We'll be making our way up to the third floor. Uh, funny enough, on difficulty, this puzzle actually does change. Uh, it is a preceded code, but it will change. It's very easy to remember, and I like it because it's literally just a T. Simple. Yeah. Although the mouse is a little bit awkward to use, so... Uh, it works out. Anyway, we're going to drop Maria off. She's having a moment. She's having a hangover. She's sleepy. So we're going to make it what you want. Now, you may be wondering, what's that giant red cross in the bottom right? I have been taking hits and I am dying. Now, is that bad? No. Because what's going to happen is uh, the moment we hit the rooftop, uh, James is going to check out this cool book. Uh, he's going to ignore it. He's going to check this cool fence. He's also going to ignore it. Uh, and then I'm going to get hit. So, during this cutscene, we're going to get those numbers. So, j -Rock, we're looking at 7833 and 7817. Yep. All right. Uh, moment of truth from magic. Let's see how this goes. Also, I should be able to heal. I'm going to get my gun out. Uh, funny enough, um, PC port does give you hotkeys for healing and guns. So, if you see me randomly do something like a gun swap, that's how I'm doing it. Um, the nurses are pretty aggressive in this hallway. Luckily, we've got plenty of health. Uh, we're playing it very, very safe. And now, the moment of truth here. Let's see. Uh, all righty. Blood's going to be 7833. Let's hope it works. Oh, my God, it didn't work. Well, uh, I guess we're going to be going to uh, find right. this. Oh, 7837. Wait, 7833, right? It was. Uh, 7817 is the other one. Ah, there, I, I'm, I'm dumb. I read the wrong one. <laughs> okay, we got it. And then it's 7685, right? No, other way around. Oh, okay, so we got that flipped backwards. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and we, um, we've kind of broken the game. Wait. Oh, duh. Hold on. <laughs> also broke me a little bit. I was scrambling. No, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, there we go. Now we're good. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. And now, hair. All that for a piece of hair. So, that's gonna be like a, also lore, if you're really into Sound Hole lore, this is like, oh, big moment, why, why is there hair in that box? Which, uh, if you're a lore fan, there, there's a reason for hair in that box. A good reason, I'd say. All right, and now we're gonna get another weird trick. Uh, IGT is weird, but we're gonna do some shenanigans. So, it was found out, but what you can do is you can actually push the button and save. Uh, and then we're gonna hit a load, and instead of riding the elevator, we're just gonna spawn down at the bottom. And this will remove the IGT. Um, so, any time wasted riding the elevator, we're just at the bottom. Oh. Yep, it's neat. Uh, as well, uh, hard mode exclusive, we're gonna be grabbing some ammo, and now we're hitting the first, I think, actual real fight of the game. It really feels like the majority of the skips were found by someone just running through the entire game, just mashing the save button. Oh, it's, that's a blast. Anyway, it's now time. Ready? Okay, first boss. This is Flush Flips. We're going to pop a shot here. It's going to be about five or six each. Uh, proximity does matter and light, so I'm going to play it really safe. I don't want to bolt them on me. Uh, I do also want to avoid the feet. Uh, we're playing footsies. This is, uh, you ever been to Evo, J-Rock? No, but footsies aren't my specialty, so. Uh, hey, hey, that they are. <laughs> All right, so we're going to grab, but I'm going to play it really safe here. We're actually going to reload from menu. Uh, that's just a nice, safe way of doing that. Um, Counter hits are going to do more damage in fights. So if I can get that, that's going to be sweet. I want to stay on the side so I'm not getting grabbed by the feet because I don't want to be defeated. And uh, let's see. Uh, fight is almost done. We're going to reload right here. And more importantly, uh, uh, oh, sneak attack. He's harder, better, stronger. He's twice as strong. And don't worry, same deal. We're just going to shoot him. We got a really good fight here, good spawn. We're just going to avoid the grab and... 
More? Clean. Nice. Good. <laughs> okay, James. Good. Uh, the game is breaking there. Also, for UFO fans. Wait, what's that over there? Huh? I'm sure it's nothing. Yeah, it's just the sun coming out a little early. Maybe the yeah, exactly. It made a, I mean, the sun made a weird noise. Normally, like, you know, sounds different, but it's there. Right, by the way, how are we doing on the bid war? Uh, so right now, uh, the dog ending is up. It's got $256 to the $236 for the UFO ending. I want to ask real quick. Okay, uh, live audience, if you want to see the dog ending, make some noise right now. Okay, if you want to see the UFO ending, right, make some noise. Okay, Woo! none of that matters. Only donating and putting the incentive matters to choose the, the, bit, uh, the bid war. And right now, dog ending is winning. And we shall see what wins. We have until the end of the run for that. Um, it just, with UFO ascendings, our uh, cutscenes, we have to show those off anyway, because um, UFO is a little bit more restrictive than uh, the other one, dog. Also, you, uh, weirdly enough, for the elevator trick, you can't do it here. So you can do it everywhere else, but the rules break. You can't do it there. And if you do it there, literally everything in the game will break. Like, ah, so the bad elevator. Yeah, he just forgets how to use doors. He just forgot. They don't work. Oh, we've all been there. Uh, you know, just, you stand in front of doors, like, well, that's my life now. Uh, earlier today, when I was walking over here, I saw, like, a, one of those revolving doors. Dude, I was outside of there for, like, ten minutes. Uh, I ran into a, a pull door earlier. I thought it was a push. Uh, uh, I just uh, felt defeated. It's the tricky one, man. Yeah. And then you, you, you just walk away because you don't want to let the door win. Yeah, I just waited for the, the, the bell guy to come over because I just, I, I, at that point, I was just... It's the moment of shame. Yeah, it was. All right, so hey, look, Maria's back. She, she's returned to us. That's great. And we're also getting a couple of, a couple of rings. Um, so, a neat thing here, and this is going to go out uh, specifically to people who are big fans of Sonal 2. Uh, if you are like, absolutely, I love Sonal 2, it's my favorite game, you know what's coming up. Uh, for those of you who do not know, in a moment here, we're going to be hitting uh, what I would actually argue is the hardest part of the game, normally for hard mode. Normally. I say normally because obviously we're going to do some shenanigans. But what's meant to happen normally is we have a boss fight coming up. It's Pyramid Head Round 2. What's going to happen is we will have to escort Maria through a tunnel. Um, Pyramid Head is fast, and Maria is not very fast. Uh, she's also in danger. So what's going to happen is normally you would have to shoot him. You'd have to make sure you're uh, keeping him distracted so Maria can make it to the end. She'll run automatically, and, you know, that would be good there. Now, I'm not going to do that. Instead, we're going to, we're going to cheat. Uh, and we're doing a glitch. Game. There we go. Sometimes the game has fun loads. Also, it's about health. That'll be good. All right, so there's the ring door. Also, there's a weird thing where the game could, like, load twice there. I'm not sure why it happens, but it doesn't, like, lose time. Uh, also, I will actually heal. Uh, there, oh, there's Maria. She, she got bumped. So, at the bottom of this is the fight. Uh, it's going to be, like, a slightly long staircase. Uh, we're going to turn off a light, and we're going to be doing uh, a bunch of mashing here. Uh, if I get it right, it'll say, oh, Gantt saved. See, we, we changed the game, and now Gant it's... Saved. No, no, Gantt Gant? saved. Oh, that's a G, Gant, yeah. yeah. Uh, I actually do need to be careful. If you see me stopping, I will trip on these walls. But what this does is this prevents him from spawning. Uh, you're going to have uh, uh, wild music. Uh, you're going to have Maria with me. Uh, you have some tripping. Uh, and then uh, it's too dark to read the map, but some pyramid didn't want to show up. And uh, it's just kind of fun how this is going to break. I spawn him back in, and let's just watch this. You know, we're, we're, we're leaving Maria behind. It'll be okay. Wait, Jarek, what was your name again? Uh, was it Save Anywhere? What was that? I don't remember her name. Do you remember her name? Uh, oh, wait, it's Undecided. Undis <laughs> for, for, we're, forest. we're Forest. Oh, wait, wait, what was her name? Oh, right, Parking Lot. <laughs> her name was Parking Lot. Parking Lot's gone. Uh, a big F in chat for Parking Lot, and just, I guess, a round of cheers for Parking Lot. She's gone. So, if you're wondering what happened there, um, the game save feature does bug out a lot of text, and what the game's doing is it doesn't know what to do with the subtitles, because I kind of Gantt saved it, and there's text on the screen already. So it's like, oh, uh, this is probably save locations, right? So it just started pulling sa like, save data and save locations. It's like, oh, uh, forest, uh, parking lot. I was getting a little worried with the different text. I thought they were trying to summon the Winter Soldier or something. Uh, no, they're summoning parking lot. All righty, so now we're going to have uh, one of our favorite sections. It's going to be a long run through the town. Also, say goodbye to James again. He's going to... Goodbye, James. Bye, James. 
All right, so we're going to be running through here. Too um, fast for camera changes. Yeah, I'll try to keep the light on because, um, uh, you know, normally you want to run off because there's a lot of nurses in the street, um, and, you know, it's bad, but I can't imagine watching this for a little bit. It's going to be too great, so we're going to play a little bit harder so people can actually see. Side note, his silhouette, the way he runs in the, the, the silhouette is funny to me. Oh, it is. Very funny. Oh, he is all hips. He yes. is a very, uh, a very hip runner. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to be running for a little bit here. We do have some stuff coming up. I can talk more about that when it comes up, but how about we get some donations then? Well, we do have a $10 donation from Slickify that says, is it too dark to read the map? <laughs> you know, it is pretty dark right now. Uh, we have a $25 donation from DJ Mall Mall that says, donating for the dog ending because it's just so much fun. And a $25 donation from Crystal Greatsword that says, dog ending. And a $50 donation from A Calm Rage that says, good luck, Ictises, from A Calm Rage in the crowd. Where are you at? There it is. Hey. Yeah. I hope everyone is enjoying Hello. themselves at GDQX in support of this great cause and community. Let's get uh, one more. Uh, all right. So we have a $25 donation from Sweet Ola that says, hey. always happy to see Ekdices at GDQ. Always confused as to why the hill is silent. Hmm. By the I way. Mean, if the hill makes noise, you should be a little bit more worried, right? Absolutely. Also, that last donation, I've been getting messages from Sweet all weekend about Kong Skull Island. Literally, like, live updates just telling me every day about it. <laughs> I've been loving them. They're fun. Anyway, uh, glitch time. It is actually too dark to read the map. So we've been running through the town again, right? Uh, J-Rock, remember in the beginning of the game, the blood? Yes, the blood that we game saved over. Do you think the blood left? Um, no, because we didn't do a cutscene. Also, it's blood. Yeah, that's true. It, yeah, it doesn't really move. <laughs> I mean, but, you know, video games, logic, things like that. It was dry. Still. By the way, the blood's still there. Um, meaning, um, we have to run in the to... dark for a little bit because um, if I don't do this, uh, the uh, too dark to read the map text, uh, it will actually make me do the tutorial. Oh, that's... Yeah, still in the game. Luckily, we are almost there. Okay, there we go. You turn back on the light. Uh, get a little bit of running. We're going to pick up a key. It's faster to do with your knees, but you don't always get it. And now I need to run in the dark here. I'm, like, really squinting here. Uh, we're almost there. And... We're gold. Good. Yeah, good stuff. So, oh, it, what? <laughs> I didn't know she would be there. Normally, I said normally I kill, uh, kill it earlier with the, uh, the text. But, yeah, so what happens there, like I said, the, um, tutorial for the plank is still around. And the game will just constantly be fighting with James, like, hey, you gotta do it. So it's like, all in all, this saves like two minutes doing this. So it's kind of worth it. That's a big chunk of time. Oh, absolutely. But now we're kind of just running through uh, the dark town against the light. So while we check out some of the sites, how about we get some donations? Absolutely. So we have a $25 donation from Rambo Rachel that says, Hey! Ick Dices in this game are out of this world and we deserve the UFO ending. Also, hello from the crowd. Where are you at? There you are. Where is Rachel? She's around. Got her. It is. There's only ten dollars. It's up to two hundred, two hundred sixty-six dollars for the UFO ending. Just got in the lead. Two hundred fifty-six dollars for the dog ending. So right now, the UFO ending is in the lead. Ooh. Wait, was that what we saw earlier in that one cutscene? No, that was the light. No, that was. Oh. The, that was just the sun. Oh, that was. The, that's right. Yeah. That was the sun. The sun's yeah. alarm clock. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, go for like uh, one more. Oh, so how about this $5 donation from Blackheart Wings that says, can we get some love for the UFO ending? Come on, come on, crowd, give, give us some love. There we go. Hey, all right. So anyway, we're back in the park. Uh, this is actually in the early game, so we're doing a lot of backtracking to the town. We're running in the, uh, the dark here. Now, there is something very embarrassing that can happen. Uh, if it happens, I will be sad, and you can legally laugh at me. But, is it dying? Uh, no, actually, it's much, much worse. Like, dying would be preferential. Um, if you forget to use this wrench and forget to grab the key, uh, the door will be locked. You can forget both of these. If, and if you forget it, yes, uh, you have to run back, and it's like a five-minute detour. Ooh. Luckily, I didn't forget it. So now laughing at me now is illegal, right? For now. For, for, for now. Uh, you know, I agree. For now. Uh, but yeah, uh, right now we're just going to have some smooth sailing to the end of this. Uh, that's gonna allow us to get into the next hub. I think it's like the uh, the tour society, what they call in the game. Um, yeah, we'll get some donations in there. This section's all just kind of running through the town. This is usually the sweet spot for Sanity. All right. Well, I will say that we are very close to thirty thousand dollars total for the event, 
and the dog ending is now just one cent higher than the UFO ending. So y'all are doing great. This is this is fun to watch over That's here. That's been close. This is the most exciting yeah. race I've ever seen. <laughs> it, there's a lot. People like dogs, people like UFOs. I actually have a weird thing. I actually have like a couple of dog pins in my pocket I got as a gift from a friend. Like, let me see if I can find them around here. Let's see what little, little dog. I get some awes in the crowd. Come on. <laughs> the worst part about that was he held it forward and not backwards, so I didn't see it. I'll just see it later. No, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> you, say, you saw me reach. <laughs> <laughs> but every time you reach, your line swerved a little bit. I'm just like, no, 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 just keep. I just walk like this normally. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I have been. My, my, my movements have been a bit more. Uh, yeah, I don't play one handed. <laughs> Uh, All right, uh, now here's the fun thing. Uh, you like long stairs, like, you know, like the Mario stairs? Uh, uh, you may, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, but okay, you like long yeah. stairs. Uh, this is a really long staircase. Uh, my favorite part about it is I learned from, like, uh, I guess, like, you know, Twitter and stuff. I think, like, Boundary Break did a video on it. This is just a long staircase. It's not looping. It's not, like, an effect. It's just long. They just made it this long. It's like, how long do you want to make it this long? Point A to point P, no stops. Anyway, since it's just a long staircase, how about we get a donation here? Also, J-Rock, you can see the pen. Wow. Oh, this is nice. It's a dog. Yeah, it's a nice yeah. one. That's we, have, we have a $50 donation from Blackguard that says, always excited to see one of my favorite streamers get, a, get in a fun run at GDQ. Good luck, Eck. Thank you. I'll go for another one. Uh, we have a $150 donation from Ooh. Furry Fisticuffs. With no comment. Big cheers. All right. So now we are uh, going down deeper and deeper into the world of Silent Hill 2. Uh, we're going to be jumping down this hole, and this is the part of the game I mentioned. Now we're in a well. Um, if you don't have the pipe and hit it against this wall, uh, you can never get out there. You'll be trapped in the well. You'll be like the ring. That's the worst soft lock. Oh, yeah. It's brutal. Like, dude, that, that is terrifying. But you know what's not a bad soft Well, You know what's not a bad thing? Uh, our upcoming trick. So, uh, this doesn't come up often, it comes up once. Uh, this was found a while ago, but we can actually duplicate items. Normally this room, if you play this game, you might know casually, your light goes out, you have to like type in a code on the door. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna grab that item, I'm gonna save and reload my game. After grabbing it, we're gonna leave the room normally because the room's not locked yet. And uh, hey, look, the key magically showed up in my inventory. Oh my God, it's been there the whole time. I, I was born with it. There it is. You oh. picked it up at some point. Yeah, but, uh, before, when I was walking here from my, my hotel, I just found the key on the ground. I was like, oh, there it is. And then I put it in my pocket, along with, like, dog pins. All right. <laughs> anyway, now we're in the prison. Uh, the whole idea here is uh, you had to get, like, three tablets. Uh, there's a guy here that can be kind of slippery, so we got to get past him. Uh, we're going to grab the first one here. There we go. And we're going to grab two more. Um, this section is actually pretty cool. It's a lot of just really, hey, go between two prison areas. Um, make sure you're avoiding the enemies, staying safe, and grabbing a bunch of random items. Also, this is like the, the funniest one for like random horror items, I guess, because you get like candle wax, a horseshoe, and I, I think, like, I don't even remember the other one. But like a bunch of random items like, oh, well, what can I make with this? Oh, there you go. <laughs> that, that works. I mean, this is something that can come out of that, right? There is. Also, uh, that door will lock you there normally, but you can just like mash it. It's like, oh, no, no, not actually locked. I'll just try my best. Okay, uh, so now we have all the tablets. Uh, we're gonna be doing a bit of a hard trick here, but I'm gonna put this in. And Jacob, you wanna hear what I sound like waking up this morning? Is it a scream? It might very well be a scream. I thought it was that beat. Oh no, it's this. <laughs> Every morning, like clockwork. As soon as the alarm goes off. Well, I mean, you can also say the sun might look like that, or sound like that. <laughs> All right, so now we got everything uh, for the most part. Uh, we're gonna be making our way through. And uh, well, let's actually uh, talk about something fun here. Because as you go further and further into the game, uh, I did mention hard mode stuff is going to, you know, change the game a little bit here, right? So, um, at this point, we can get a hunting rifle. It is actually a nice weapon. We're not going to be using it. Um, the reason I bring it up is because you might be wondering, oh, what do you use for hard mode? Uh, we won't be using that. Oh, wait, not you, get out of here. Oh wait, oh, I'm not in the, oh. I, I uh, pulled the push door. 
There you go. Also, neat trick you can do here too. Uh, the moment you, the horse moves in, just hit save. Up, oh, not that one, that one. And then, um. Did he just make a door handle? Yep. And also, I just, guy I avoided opening it. I just loaded it and it just, it just opened in front of me. Alrighty, we're gonna go further down the holes. We got like three of them coming up, and then we have a nice elevator ride. So, J Rock, there is a tradition for Sonal 2 runs. Uh, not just for J Rock, but uh, actually for all of you in the audience right now. And uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun. So, right now we have an elevator ride. We have about maybe like a minute or so. I'm gonna grab some stuff. I'm gonna be reloading my pistol and my shotgun. Uh, while this is gonna happen, Bobby, how about you read us a couple donations? And everyone in the room, uh, how about we take a selfie? There we go. Let's get ready for the selfie. We have a everybody group up. Fifty dollar donation from Precious Roy that says, "I want to believe, Eck. Hey, oh, it's that UFO. Well, no, this year what I got is I got dog stuff. I got a couple dog pins. Also, I didn't show the other one. I also have Huey from Haunting Ground. It was a oh. gift from uh, my friend Me Jessica. So yeah. you get dogs this year. I got left that again. Oh, then actually, I thought that. <laughs> fine. <laughs> Here, go no, quickly. The elevator. Oh, oh no, that's real nice. The elevator's that thing. Alrighty. Let's see here. Over, oh, you can read more, by the way. Yeah, so we have a $10 and two cent donation because they're playing with the cents on this. Gotcha. From non binary code that says dog ending has dog. That's just science. One more. Uh, so we'll, right now, I will give you an update. The UFO ending is $5 more than the dog ending, $346 to $341. And we are close. We're almost to $29,500. So close to that $30,000. Milestone for the whole event. All right. Big cheers to that. And right now, we're going to be getting a special weapon that is going to be uh, one of our main bread and butters for the rest of the game. Uh, if you go in this room on any difficulty, also, let's get some shotgun shells just in case, you can steal Pyramid Head's Great Knife. I mean, James practically stole the Sonhol Stein earlier. We're taking the Great Knife, too. Just take it all. But the thing is, it's one of those weapons, immense power, slow speed. Um, you can't even like hold it because you hold it, James is and like uh, like excruciatingly slow walk. By the way, I have actually uh, got a modded file uh, from a legendary Silent Hill runner by the name of UFO Techie. Hey, Techie. And yep, back in the day. Also, uh, before hold on, before that, uh, this is RNG. Uh, it's going to be side down. Hey, look, a magic trick. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Uh, that's normally a randomized on hard mode. Uh, we just know it because it's seated. <laughs> it's a neat trick, right? It's very good trick. Yeah, but going back to that, for the Great Knife, uh, you know, modded file, that's from Techie, because, uh, uh, formatting, oh, thanks. There we go. He wanted to do a category called Great Knife Only, which is you have to walk all of Silent Hill and beat the game entirely with only the Great Knife. Now, you're thinking, oh, that's really strong, that's not that hard, right? You walk like, painfully slow. Yeah. Um, so there's no fight you can avoid, right? Uh, you can actually do some of the skips, it's just, it takes a long time, and it's kind of dumb. Uh, I can actually show him, oh, what game? Barely off. Like, I can actually show off in my, like, watch, watch, watch. You move that fast. Oh, it, no. Yeah, it is, it is <laughs> kind of painful. painful. That's painful. Uh, if you're wondering, I have done this on multiple occasions, and uh, every time I've done it, it takes me about three and a half hours. Wow. Yeah, Wait, and you then, say it's more painful than whoosh percent in Silent Hill 1? Uh, I actually did that too, and that's faster. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> uh, with Woosh Percent, it's another dumb category where you uh, take a katana and Sonal 1 and you just attack to move. It makes this like a Woosh sound effect. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so you're going to shoot this guy five times. Like he'll move out of the way. Um, that's why we had to reload the gun. Uh, it's actually one of the only times in the rest of the game we're going to use the pistol. Um, there we go. But we're making pretty good progress so far. Uh, we also do have another pretty big skip coming up. Uh, this is going to be another one of those fights that can be kind of difficult, but luckily for us, we're going to use the game save feature to our advantage. So what's meant to happen is as you go through the labyrinth, eventually you're going to find Angela, and you're going to have to fight a boss called Abstract Daddy. Uh, Abstract Daddy is a bit of a tough fight, actually. It's a very small room, um, you don't have a lot of resources, and even using the Great Knife is a bit tougher. Uh, luckily, though, it is too dark for that fight. We're not going to do it. <laughs> you just run past it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyway, yeah, great boss fight. I beat him. We, we oh, won. Nice. <laughs> there we go. A round of, yeah. Uh, anyway, we actually got uh, one of the worst RNGs. It's this one. Uh, in the past, you would always like, oh, YOLO, and you would just guess what it is. Uh, no, we don't have to do that anymore. It's that one. That neat little magic trick that we found out earlier. There it is. 
I didn't check anything. By the way, it's actually uh, the counterfeit. On hard mode, we do the counterfeit here. So we do the uh, uh, first try counterfeit, and uh, pretty easy. If you get it wrong, by the way, what happens is they summon dudes and they hit you. So I don't want that happening. <laughs> Okay, okay, I was like, do I, do I have the bone? There's like more items in my inventory I'm not used to with the UFO tablet and the bone. There's like a bone in there. <laughs> Imagine just carrying around like a bone in your pocket. <laughs> just looking for a dog. Yeah, just, hey. <laughs> Want a bone? It's faded, here you go. Uh, and then, yeah, you just throw it off. Alrighty, well, wait, the game's actually kind of mean too, because what ends up happening is after the abstract daddy boss fight, they throw you immediately into another boss fight, and this one we have to do. Uh, I would argue that this boss fight is one of the hardest in the game, and it's going to be hard in hard mode, so we're going to break it down easy. Uh, but, uh, J-Rock, do you remember the Eddie boss fight? Yes, the pizza guy. Yep. Uh, he ran out of pizza. He's angry. You know what? I don't blame him. Also, we're going to play a little bit safe. There's an ampule back here. We're gonna make, uh, no, can't save! Can't save! No, game saved. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know why that one happened. Uh, funny enough, there is actually a neat little thing here, because I want to have my shotgun out. Um, we have a very neat boss fight strategy for both of them. Eddie's a two-phase fight. So for phase one, I'm having the shotgun out because that's going to be closer to the uh, great knife for me, and we're actually using the great knife in this fight. However, uh, you can't save in this hallway, and you'll actually trip if you run all the way. So I'm going to stop a little bit beforehand, and all right, J-Rock, you ready? We have two phases of Eddie. Phase one, we're going to be doing some, uh, some tricks here. We have a couple of hits. Phase two is going to be the meat room, if you ever seen the meat room, right? Yeah, I remember the meat room. All right, but we're going to take out Eddie in a moment, but let's just, let's just see what he has to say. All right, let's go. All right, so we're gonna... Oh, he did good. All right, so he just ran away. He's scared of the great knife. I'm now going to uh, prop it up. I'm going to hit him. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna do it again. And we're gonna bust Eddie's... Oh my God, that barely hit. <laughs> 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 Ooh, okay, that was close. Uh, let's get back out the shotgun. Uh, that was way closer than it had to be. Uh, phase one, uh, that was rough. Great knife works there. Uh, phase two, I'm gonna aim. I'm gonna have Eddie uh, be beating the meat here. And uh, we're risking him with a great knife. He's staying in place. Wait a minute, we're getting big swings here. Eddie, stay in place, keep doing it. Oh, he ran away. Uh, go for another wide swing. He should walk into this. And he's gonna punch. punch. Uh, if he runs away, that's bad. He might not run away. Oh my god, I think we got him. He's not dead yet. Eddie, how are you living? Uh, let's gun him. Oh, he's, he's, uh... One hit, there he is, he's dead. I love that scream. Oh, it's just such a great scream. <laughs> also, I love James after, like, Eddie? And then he's like, I killed him. It's like, you shot him. No kidding. You <laughs> hit him with a giant knife. And now you're shocked? Okay, James. Oh, God. Anyway, we have the boat section coming up, and for those of you who, like, ever uh, struggle with the boat, you're going to hate me. Uh, but first things first. Hey, oh, wait, J-Rock. What's up? I, I think I see something out there. Three sons? <gasps> I'm not so sure that's the sun anymore. I mean, I, I don't think there's three sons normally, no. How around the bid war, by the way? Well, we had a $100 donation from Winslash that just says dog. And that's helping the dog ending have $566 to the UFO endings, $346. All right. Anyway, uh, the boat here, you may be wondering what I'm doing. Uh, if you, on PC version, uh, for some reason, I, I don't think the keyboard abides by the rules of like the thing. I think on hard mode, they make it that like, each directional controls like an or or something. It's like really difficult. Um, no, no, I, I held upright, and now I'm holding up. Uh, people try to speed run this, and also on uh, hard mode, it is wildly difficult. Uh, I'm just holding up upright until I saw that light, now up. Oh, so the boat can't trip then, right? Uh, you know what's funny? What's up? Uh, so you know how I mentioned the great knife being really slow? Does it make the boat slower? Yes, it does. That's incredible. The boat is based off your movement speed. So doing the great knife takes like an extra minute or two. It is stupid. He's using the great knife for oars. <laughs> not actually, can you imagine? That's weight training. But it does actually slow you down. I'm not kidding about that one. All right, we're in the uh, kind of the final hub of the game. Like, horror games are weird because I guess they have like buildings. I don't know what you call them, like dungeons, buildings, layers. But what, what's the appropriate name of this? I guess it's a hotel, but. Motel? Holiday Inn? Uh? <laughs> oh, God, wait, I, I can't see. There we go. Okay. Uh, all righty. Wait, wait, wait a second. I can't see. Okay, there we go. It was actually wildly hard to see. The camera was doing some shenanigans there. Okay. There we go. We're gonna get the fish key and... Oh my god, it's a piano! Shoot! 
same reaction. I mean, it, it scared me. Did I scare See? you? See? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now is a really cool glitch. Uh, this is gonna be fun, but this isn't out of bounds. What's gonna happen is it's too dark to read the map, and that's actually gonna remove the loading zone on the stairs. So what I'm gonna do is my own unique version of this, where I'm going to walk to where I see James's little feet. Uh, I'm going to I tap once, I'll tap up, and I did not get it. But let's see if we can recover this. Oh, no. Nah, the there he is. No, no, no. Uh, what we want is you want him right in the wall. Uh, too much either way is a bit of a problem, and there's a few methods of doing this. Also, I am in a rough position. Got it. Whoa, wait, whoa, oh. Hmm? No. Hold Holding. On. Ah, so close. Uh, hold on. Yeah, the alternative is that you take the uh, controller and you wiggle at the top. However, that has mixed results. And I'm barely missing it each time. How about a little bit more? Oh, he's still not doing it. James, what are you doing, buddy? A little bit less. It's also a weird dance here, because I need him. I can't go too far out, but I can't be too far in. And I think that's not going to get it, so it should be close. Uh, this is getting a little bit awkward. It's also a bit harder to see than normal. I mean, but it is too dark to read the map. It is too dark to read the map. Oh my god, James, what are you doing? James, not now. Let's see, right there. Oh my god, James. James, oh, don't fall that early. He has remarkable ankle strength. Hold on, let me do it. Like, you know. It's not gonna be that one. Tap. Oh my god, James. Just one tap, buddy. One tap. Luckily, we should have some estimate time. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, normally this is much earlier. I probably would reset the run at this point. <laughs> uh, this is an awkward setup that normally works. You're not getting in there. Why are you not getting in there? That's fine. He's not getting in there. James. He's gonna get you. He, wow, he's like barely missing it each time, too. That is a problem. Oh my god. I could try it the other way, but that one's not gonna work as well for me. This is a little bit awkward. Doable. Oh my god, there we go. That was hey. I, I should have got that angle. Okay, that was weird, but we'll take it. Okay, so we're gonna now take James there. That was much longer ahead of you. I apologize for that. Uh, we're gonna be running for a bit in the shadows. We're gonna see two things. Uh, oh, the, the boat. He really wanted to come back up. And then we're gonna see a door. Uh, here we are. Also, how are we looking on that estimate? Uh, they're about like 51 minutes. 51 minutes? minutes? Yeah. All right, we're gonna have to go strong here. We are approaching the end of the game, luckily, so we can do this. All right, so what this does is, funny enough, that actually still takes time over doing the normal way, even with all the mess-ups. Um, normally what's supposed to happen here is that the game will uh, require you to go to, like, the employee elevator, and it requires you to get rid of all your stuff. You can't have anything in the game. Uh, it's kind of a neat scary section. It's also a really cool lore section because like you can have a couple of items it's like oh those aren't real No way, which is your wife um, So uh, I just skipped all that. I spelled all my stuff. I have the flashlight funny enough You can't actually use the flashlight in an area. That's like oh, it's too dark to see the door like you have a flashlight James Why don't you <laughs> James? No yeah, You forget sometimes he does he quite yeah, he forgets he also he has the push pull shenanigans and you know it goes trips a lot he does. James is, he's a clumsy fellow. Uh, anyway, we're gonna have a health kit here. We should be fine, I think. Uh, although, I'll be making a couple of saves in a moment. Hold on. Well, actually, I guess we do have time added on for the dog and UFO any estimates and anything about it, so it actually kind of covers a bit of that. Sweet. Anyway, time for some delicious, delicious light bulbs. Because we still need this. Uh, also, just for safety, we're going to stock up with all the health in this room. I, I want more than less. Like, that final boss can get mean. Um, also, we'll be getting the bid war status in a moment here. So, how about we get a donation or two just to, uh, yeah, I guess, finalize this bid war? We're getting close. I'll let you know exactly when, but it's coming. All right. So, we have a $100 donation from uh, Vladidow that says, We need a bit more of Wolf Wolf in our lives. I agree. And, and we have a $25 donation from Anonymous that just says, Bark, 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 Wolf Wolf, <laughs> bark, bark. So, yeah, the dog ending is up at $566 to the UFO ending, $346. All right, we're getting close. Uh, really quick, I will talk for one moment, because earlier, J-Rock, we had a word. Do you remember that word? Um, I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to find it. Am I, am I close on time? Uh, well, I Get it? Time? Uh, 
I liked it. I, I appreciated that. <laughs> I'm not. That was a fun one. I give you credit. All right, so it's time. Uh, let's see here. So I'm gonna turn off the light. We're gonna run these dudes, and um, have to be careful because they can grab you. And uh, now this normally has like 19 random variables. Um, it's gonna be one. It's time, not actual time, but like the word time. <laughs> Don't want to confuse the. Uh, don't want to confuse the, 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 the scorekeeper here. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. He went really underestimate. Wait, why is he like in the middle of the game? <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean, know. I think it's all the boxes. Uh, we are approaching uh, the end of the game right now here. Um, we won't close off the door just yet, but how about we get one or two more just so we can have that? All right. We have a $15 donation from Ad Noctum that says, I'll be waiting for you in our special place, TwitchCon. Let's see the dog ending from Ad Noctum in the crowd. Where are you at? Awesome, thank you so Wait. much. And then uh, let me do one thing really quick here. Uh, here is a neat little trick. So he's hitting save, allows us to run to the door, so he's like ignoring the music box. It's kind of fun. Uh, we get the key, we get the music box, and um, we're right at the end of this game. So um, I think the moment we hit the VCR, I will ask for the ending of the bid war, but how about one more just to see what we got. We have a $25 donation from Eva300 that says, hey, Eck. Love seeing you at GDQ again. Any chance we can get Lowrider into the next oh, event? Oh, God, no. <laughs> just, just kidding, just kidding. Keep up the great work and the great runs. Okay, I ran a three-hour game about Lowriders. <laughs> no. All righty. A motorhome. There we go. All righty. Uh, I'm going to make a save right now just in case. What one? Dog ending. Oh, dog ending one? Yeah. Oh, I don't even make the save. I mean, I'll do it anyway just, just to have it, but... Uh... All righty, so we'll be doing the dog ending. I'll be making a save for that. We're not going to be doing it during the run. Uh, we'll be doing it at the end. We'll load back the save, and we'll see the whole thing. Uh, anyway, a big flash of the game. Remember when VHS was a thing? <laughs> uh, by the way... Uh, Some places still sell the, the, the recorders. They do. So we're not going to do this yet. This will be after the run, because hard mode, honestly, I think the best part is the finale. That final boss. So we have our save right there. We're looking good. I push... Oh, there we go. Um, and we're going to be going right to the end. Uh, we have uh, a boss fight coming up, not just a boss fight, the, the boss fights. Fight. And they're going to be uh, quite interesting, I'd say. Uh, also, you can kind of run through these rooms. They, like, activate the hallways, which is funny, because you think, oh, you're going, like, weird ways. No, nope, this just works. And we're uh, approaching right to the end here. We're grabbing some health, so how about we get one or two more donations, and then we'll just go to the rest of the game. The box wasn't working. All good, all yeah. good. <laughs> Low on, yeah, but we're here now. Uh, so actually, I was going to update people on the Sekiro challenge because uh, we've got to, to make it harder for them. We've raised just over $1,200 out of the $4,000 on that, so that's ne the next incentive that people can donate towards. And we are very close to $30,000 for the whole event. Um, all right. I uh, got one more now. You got one, you can read it. Otherwise, we are good to go. Yeah, let, let, let's see the dogs. All righty. All right, so final boss time. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to walk through this hallway. That's not the final boss. We're, just, we're really close to the end. Uh, early in the game, I've been grabbing a lot of health. This is why. Like, this is a very um, back-ended difficulty game. Uh, we'll be avoiding the dudes on the ground here. Uh, they do poke your feet, which is not good. And now we're going to be having a very unique strat. So you know the dual pyramid head fight, uh, right, J-Rock? Yes, I do. you got to make them run into each other. Yeah, kind of. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to go to this corner. I'm going to turn around, go to keyboard, and equip the great knife. At this point, we're actually going to be going into our settings, and we're changing from directional to rotational. Uh, this is a very particular type of um, control. Uh, it means that I'm not going to be able to control James like a dime. He's not going to control like a, a tank, I guess. Also, let's play it safe. I do not trust my health right there. Uh, but now, with this... I am going to use the Great Knife and be hitting the wall repeatedly. This is doing immense damage to both of the Pyramid Heads here, uh, and it's also just bouncing and preventing them from attacking me. It's a very efficient strat. We are just melting through them, and the, one of the hardest fights in the game is going to go down right about, I think... Wait, got there we go. There it is. GG, what a fight. Uh, we still do have more coming up, but yeah, that's how you do the dual pyramid head. You just uh, turn on the uh, official tank controls, uh, and then you do this. Also, funny enough, we're actually playing the rest of the game in tank controls, uh, full tank. So I've actually moved off my controller, and now I'm on keyboard, <laughs> which I, I think that's neat. Ability. Yeah. Uh, I used to run this on keyboard a lot, and uh, a lot of people do actually swap over to um, keyboard just for fast stair crawling or climbing. 
However, the thing is, you don't have to on other difficulties. It's kind of hard mode exclusive. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, uh, you could do it on other difficulties because it's easier. However, you don't really have to because there's a trick that you can do that lets you just use direction the whole time, which is faster if you can do it. Mary? It's hard, though. What do you want, James? I, uh, I brought you some flowers. I thought her name was Parking Lot. Oh, well, no, this is, uh, is, this is our, our former flowers? wife. Which, oh. What, what, I mean, if you have Maria Parking Lot, would, uh, would Mary be then? Garage? <laughs> she might be garage. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we're gonna have our final boss fight with, funny enough, uh, Garage, I think. <laughs> uh, also, uh, I want to show something off, because normally if you climb the stairs, they kind of slow you down. However, if you do this, like, barbershop quartet run, uh, you can just run up. Uh, this is intended by, well, not intended on what we're doing. Also, you still trip. Uh, it's intended for you to slow down, because it's like, oh, uh, your wife is at the top. Uh, uh, she's waiting. You're scared. But, uh, no, he's, he's goofy. He just, <laughs> so, so long, folks. You know, he's not looking in front of him, so he's able to run faster, no fear. Alrighty. Anyway, we always get the Maria ending, so we're going to be fighting Garage. And um, this is a mean fight. Um, the idea behind this, it took me a while to route. Uh, there's multiple ways of doing it, and it's RNG. Uh, it looks like I'm going to be attacked by uh, infinite moths or bats. Uh, anytime I'm low on health, I'm going to want to heal. And I am looking to just get, get some close hits. Ooh, that's bad. So what happens is if you are at all in range, um, she'll go for a grab. Um, if you are in front of the bed, she won't. It's kind of strange. Uh, also, I should get a hit there. This weapon's also meant to be slow and is not uh, good at letting me get attacks. So I'm constantly refreshing uh, on the bed. Uh, it's fine if there is a glitch you can do. However, um, it's one of those things that it saves time normally, but not if you get best luck. And I like... Uh, I like risky strats here, I suppose. But also, I'm just more comfortable with this one entirely. All righty. Like a lot of, like, timing. Yeah, so the big thing I'm looking for is the apex of, like, a circle. When it starts coming around, that's when I'm going for the swing. Uh, it gives me just enough time here to actually go for it. And then it's also hoping I don't get moths. Now, uh, big things about this, uh, proximity matters. Uh, so does counter hits, like I talked about earlier. So she can be counter hit, and that does like a wild amount of damage. You can get her like three swings if you get perfect counter hits. Um, you almost will never do that, but you can. Um, we're getting some good meaty hits though, that's good. Um, like usually a one-to-one -one trade with the moth isn't the end of the world. Uh, it's definitely something though. Let's see. Ooh, that's good. Uh, get to adjust position, and I get a second hit. I should help. Oh my oh. god. She counter hit me. I can't believe Mary's gonna get top eight in Evo next year. <laughs> okay, that was a good hit. Uh, don't do the moths, and we're cool. All right, and we're going for a meaty swing, and time. We don't have our official time just yet. We'll see it in a moment. Uh, what am I looking at for the RTA? The one, the one right there I'm looking at? Yeah, yeah. 101, 104. 101, okay. That, with, the, with the dog ending stuff, that works out. And we got a 51. That's not bad. Uh, especially playing it a lot safer, make sure it's all good. Um, we do have that dog in ending incentive though, right? Yes, we do. All yep. righty. Uh, so that being said, moment you've all been waiting for, we got our time there. Uh, let's, uh, let's give uh, people the dog ending, shall we? Also, I'll make a save here. What they want? Just because I like having that. It's the marathon save. All right, everyone ready? Okay. Here we go. I like how it still sounds like the UFO anyway. I don't know. <laughs> All right, showtime. Oh, he does it. Oh. It's the mirror of the dog. Anyway, I have no idea how to actually like dance for this or clap, so I guess uh let's have fun. It's just like kinda like jiggling, isn't it?
I, I like all the outtick. <laughs> Same. Same. <laughs> oh, look, there's that E again. And, hey, J Rock, you get three. Three? We got three frames of pizza? Yep. Oh, no, that's like a whole. That was a good five seconds, right? A lot more. Also, he just falls. I don't think you can do that in the game. I don't know how they did that. <laughs> Games that have blooper reels are undefeated. Oh, it's great. And then, cover your eyes, kids. Oh. Thank you, everyone. So, just the outro it here. Uh, I have been Dysis. I do a lot of horror games. Uh, I'm immensely happy to be here. Like I said, uh, five years ago, I did my first GDQ with Sonal 2. And it's actually incredibly special that I get to show it to you all again at a GDQ event, the same GDQ event, GDQX. So thank you for that, and thank you to J-Rock on the couch here, and just the Sonal community. I was happy to be here. Yeah. So, cheers. There'll be more good stuff. I don't know. Check us out on Twitch or social media. The good dice is J-Rock the God. Thank you for watching. All right, let's give it up one more time for Ick Dysis. <laughs> and the best dog ever. We have a $10 donation from Damage Plushie that says, yay, go Ick Dysis. Thank you so much for that. And with that, my time as the host for GDQX is over. Thank you so much. My name is Bobby Blackwolf. I have been honored and thrilled to be with you uh, for this beginning of day three. But don't go away because we've got a lot more coming up next. Halo Reach is up next. So we will be back right after this break. Don't close that tab.
Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Games Done Quick Express, live here at TwitchCon. I am your host for this run, Kurt Dog. So I'd like to thank you all for having me. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a very, very exciting run for Halo Reach Legendary. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look here. Uh, let's see if we got a couple donations here uh, before we go ahead and pass it off to our runners. So let's see here. So we got $15 from DICE. So excited to see you show off all the new strats developed in the past few years. Good luck on the armor lock pressure launch. Cat, better see you fly over that gate. Half Halo runs. All right, all right and we're gonna go ahead and start our run. Are you ready for Halo Reach? <laughs> 